Hello guys and welcome back to The Tried Truth. In this episode I'll be reviewing Ruby Edition by Haramain. Very nice, I don't know if it's a wood box, but uh, anyway, uh, heavy box, kind of big. This is a 100 milliliter bottle, so this is the way it comes, a nice hinged box here. Um, not sure, like I said, if it's a wood box. I don't think so, it's kind of transparent, kind of like a, a soft plastic, almost feels I don't know, um, almost feels like rubber, but it's it's just a really soft plastic box. But uh, anyway, so you get inside, nice red velvet, um, name the house there. Not a bad presentation. I like the presentation, I like the bottle. Um, it's the fragrance that I'm really disappointed with. And I'll tell you why, guys. Um, you know, first off, um, there's so many fragrances that have stolen from this profile. Um, and it's so close to so many other things that uh, I'm just, it's so redundant that I went ahead and bought this. Uh, I'm very disappointed. It was a blind buy. You know, I, I was really hoping for something different and it's just not. It's, it's almost exactly like everything else that's out there right now. I mean, you'll find nuances of Mont Blanc Explorer, Creed Aventus. Um, I mean, there's a ton of these. And this one here is just uh, so similar to all the rest that are out there. And uh, I was just really disappointed. Anyway, personally, that's that's my take on it. I'll, uh, I'll read you the chords. It's a woody, warm, spicy, amber, almond, animalic, metallic, musky, nutty, leather and white floral so now listen i'm really not enthused i'm in fact i'm really disappointed in this fragrance if i could send it back i would uh it's just and it's not about performance it's not about how good it smells or anything it's just it's redundant for me i have so many that smell so similar to this i i didn't want another one i i i read some reviews on this one and listened to what everyone else said about it and um I agree with most of the reviews. It is a great fragrance. It it is very well done. It it doesn't smell uh, synthetic or cheap. It it's it smells high end. It smells of luxury. It you know they um, they did a good job on the fragrance it's, and the presentation and everything. It's just like I said, it's redundant for me, and I'm really disappointed in it. So this one was launched in 2022. So top notes uh, in the opening: saffron and bitter almond. And um, in the mid, you get Egyptian jasmine and cedar. And in the base, you get ambergris, woody notes, and musk. And uh, that's about it. It's really not complex. It smelled kind of linear on me last night. Nice atomizer, though, by the way. You know, kind of pressure sensitive. Yeah. Um, like I said, the DNA is kind of everywhere. What I mean is... This scent profile is in just about everything. Now, as far as like, um, if you were going to compare this to like Mont Blanc Explorer, personally, I think that's a better fragrance. Um, um, Club de Nuit Intense Man by Armoff, to me, is a better fragrance than this as well. Um, in fact, after you uh, get a couple of sniffs of this, you even you really can't even smell it anymore. It's and it's it's good quality. Don't get me wrong. You kind of have to get away from it and go back to it. So I applied it to some cardstock last night, and I couldn't smell it after a couple of whiffs. And then I went back to it about an hour later and picked it up. And yeah, you can smell it again, but you kind of get an osmic to it, like. And you can't even notice it. It's warm, spicy. So, I mean, it smells a lot like pineapple to me. But um, I have a solution for you on this fragrance. Let me make sure I hit this cardstock. Okay, it's soaked. Yeah, like I said, I can't even smell it. So you don't get alcohol out of this or anything like that on the first sniff or anything. It, it doesn't come off, like I said, not chemical or anything like that. It's... Uh, it's a quality smell. It's just, to me, it's just, it's everywhere. It's it's kind of, it's kind of just played out. To me, I'm I'm tired of it. I'm never gonna wear it. But I'll tell you what's a better fragrance for the money, right here, under twenty dollars. 
This is Cayet Al Farsan, um, and it's a butter fragrance as far as I'm concerned. It just is. Um, it's similar. In fact, this is kind of like if you took BR540, what this is a clone of, and uh, I guess you could say Creed Aventus and blended them together, you'd end up with this. But uh, this one's really bright, juicy on the pineapple. This is just a better fragrance as far as I'm concerned, especially for the price. And this one has everything you want in a fragrance. It's got power, it's got longevity. This one grew on me. At first I was just like, eh, it's just another pineapple-y take on Creed Aventus, but it's kind of not. It's, it's, it's different, you know, it's got its own thing going on. I would really avoid this one unless you like the scent profile. But uh, you probably have, if you collect fragrances, you probably have four or five that smell similar to this already. Like I said, this is a better fragrance to me than that is. Club de Nui Intense Man by Armoff is a better fragrance than this. In fact, I, hmm, I think I like uh, Intense Man better than this one too, but they're close. I like this one a lot. In fact, I can't wait till springtime to really start wearing this one. Even though I think you can wear it in the winter because it's got enough going on where it's not just a bright, juicy pineapple. But this one here is more suitable for, you know, colder weather, I think, personally, on this one. Um, although I believe you could wear it any time of year. It's just a warmer, spicier fragrance. Um, and uh, I don't know, guys. I'm not telling you it's no good. It is a good fragrance. But to me, I'm disappointed. Um, it, I did, it, it was a blind buy. There's so many other things I wanna get right now. But as far as longevity, it's it's got an eternal rating. Make your own choice on that, but trust me on that, this is a better fragrance. It's It's got a similar vibe to this. Um, definitely sweeter, juicier, um, more citrus, more, more pineapple, um, but this one, I don't know. I, I feel like this one's too warm, too spicy, too syrupy, very woody, very musky. It says uh, Egyptian jasmine, but it, it's kind of so overridden. You really don't even get much floral in this. It's just more than anything else. I, I just get a, a syrupy, sweet, woody type of scent, and it's just boring to me. It's so boring. I, I can't believe the hype this thing has gotten. It, it doesn't deserve it, in, in my opinion. So that's enough about it, guys. Uh, you know, proceed with caution on this one. It, like I said, it's good. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just everywhere. The scent profile's everywhere. I'm tired of it. I think these houses need to move on to something new. Um, yeah, it's good, it's quality and all that, but it's just, it's a broken record as far as I'm concerned. We'll see you next time on The Tried Truth.